Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we are gonna be doing a little drugstore makeup transformation featuring all of my favorites from e.l.f. I wanna actually give a big thank you to e.l.f. Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. It is always such an honor to be able to work with brands that I genuinely constantly use on my channel and e.l.f. is one of them. You guys know I talk about e.l.f. at least once a week on my channel. I love their products. Their quality's on point. I love how you can be extra without paying extra so you can look high-end with their products without actually spending the money that you would on high-end makeup. Their products perform like luxury. So we're going to be going through everything today, even makeup brushes as well, because I have a lot of favorite makeup brushes from e.l.f. And of course, e.l.f. is vegan, cruelty-free, so you don't have to feel guilty about using their products. So I'm just really happy to be able to work with them today and show you guys my favorites in action. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you grab a snack and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get into this drugstore makeup transformation. All right, guys, so first things first, of course, eyes. I already did my brows just because I wanted to save time and I pretty much do the same routine all the time. Today, I did use the e.l.f. Brow and Liner Cream in the shade Espresso. It just looks like this. I actually just got a fresh one. I love using fresh pomade. There's just nothing better. And since we're talking about e.l.f., of course, this is one of my all-time favorite brow brushes, the 203, the one with this like clear packaging. So, so good. I use this all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids and. And I'm gonna use this one in the shade Sheer with their original eyelid primer. I really like this. I'm actually running pretty low on it because I do use this pretty often. I'm just gonna put this on all over. Then I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out. It has like a slight tint, which is nice because it primes and it also almost like conceals a little bit as well. But I like this because it's not as thick as a concealer and your shadows still last and pop. So it's a good formula. Okay, and it does dry down really quickly. You probably have to wait maybe like 30 seconds, a minute or so, and then you're good to go. You don't really have to set it. If you have super oily eyelids, I recommend setting it, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So today for shadows, we are gonna be using the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. These are one of the newest, best drugstore eyeshadows I've tried in a long time, and the best part is they're only $3. I've done several looks with many of these recently. I did like a nothing over $5 video. I've talked about these in a favorites video. They really are so good, and I love how in each of the little quads, you get a mixture of mattes and shimmers, so you can create really beautiful looks with just one palette, or you can mix and match, and they're amazing. If you were to buy all of them, it's still cheaper than most drugstore eyeshadow palettes these days, and the quality is just so on point. So I have pretty much almost all of them, I believe. I think I'm only missing like one or two. I love these. This one right here is so beautiful, the Hot Jalapeno Palette. The bronzy shade in here is perfect for summer. But I think today I want to do something just really bronzed and simple, kind of like daytime appropriate. So I'm going to use the Pumpkin Pie Palette today. And then I'm also going to use probably the Carnival Candy because I love the these matte shades, these are absolutely beautiful. And, oh, this is another good one, Truffles. I use this a lot. The black shade in here, you guys, this is one of the best blacks at the drugstore. And then Cream and Sugar is another really good neutral little quad. Today, like I said, I'm gonna use, I think, a mixture of these two today. We're gonna do something, something basic, something bronze, but I wanna keep it really simple. I'm gonna start off with the Carnival Candy Palette, and I'm gonna pick up that Soft Camel Brown shade. A really great brush from them for the crease is the fluffy eye blender brush. This is so good for blending in transition colors in your crease. It's really fluffy. I love this brush so much that I have backups of it because it's that good. So I'm gonna take that color. These are really pigmented, so tap off the excess, be mindful. So I usually just start off very, very lightly because you guys know I'm very heavy handed and I'm trying to work on that. So I dip my brush like just the tiniest little bit and then I just start working that color in there. Okay, I definitely have leftover lash glue. It's like, it just always ends up sticking to my eyes no matter how much makeup remover I use. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this really beautiful like red brown shade. And I'm gonna start kind of working that on the outer crease. Mm, I love these like kind of tones. You guys know these are like my tones and I usually like to match what I'm wearing with my makeup or my makeup with what I'm wearing. 
So that's why today we're going with like the very warm smoky eye. So again, just building that color up. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna go into the pumpkin pie palette and I'm gonna use this really beautiful warm tone orange shade. And I'm just gonna run that on another e.l.f. fluffy eye blender brush. I know I keep saying e.l.f. <laughs> Everything in this video today is gonna be e.l.f. But I'm just gonna take that and kind of just blend out the edges of this a little bit. Cute. All right, and then I'm gonna use, let's go in with this color and I'm also gonna mix in these two shades right here. Didn't even spray my brush because really with these you don't really have to, to be honest. You can see you get that really beautiful pigment like on its own. I usually like to spray. It's kind of just out of habit at this point. I do it with all of my shadows and I'm gonna just do it now just to show you like a little comparison. Definitely of course does make the shadow a little bit more in your face. And the best tools when it comes to doing shimmers on the lid, your fingers. I still forget sometimes that I don't have nails on and that I can actually use my fingers when I'm doing my makeup, so. See? Oh, it's just stunning. So your fingers are great as well. I think they pack on shimmers and metallics and like pressed glitters really well. So that's also a great option. I'm gonna do a quick coat of mascara. I'm just gonna prep my lashes for falsies today. So my favorite lashes from e.l.f. are the faux mink lashes in the style Drama Queen. These are really beautiful with like a light smoky eye like what I have going on today. And I also really like them without any eyeshadow. They really open up your eyes and they're really wispy. Super easy to apply. Just to show you guys what they look like outside of the packaging, look at these lashes. They are beautiful. Just to show you what they look like, they're gonna be perfect with this look. Oh, yes. Okay, love these, so good. I have repurchased these several times. I have like five, six packs in my makeup drawer right now because I love them so much. I love how these lashes, they kind of like taper outward, so they really like elongate your eyes. They make them look more open, more awake. You just want to get as close to the lash line as possible. I like to do this with tweezers. Okay, now we can jump into the skin, which is like my favorite part. So I'm going to do a little primer water spray. I'm going to use their hydrating coconut mist. Oh, these smell so good. It reminds me of like vacation. Nice even spray. I always like to just make sure that it works before I spray my face. Um, and I always cover up my eyes just to prevent anything from getting ruined. And today I'm gonna to use the original Poreless Putty Primer. I actually did a wear test on this. This is a really great dupe for a much more expensive primer. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's amazing. I really like the original when it starts to get hotter out in the summertime because this thing will keep you matte. It's gonna leave you looking smooth and poreless. It really is an amazing primer. I like to use a lot of this. I feel like the more you use, the better effect you get on the skin. I also love their matte putty primer. This one's really great too. I feel like this one is more hydrated on my skin. I like the matte one whenever my skin maybe feels a little bit on the drier side because I feel like it is really hydrating on my skin even though it does mattify my face but I feel like the poreless putty is the real deal if you have oily skin or if you're going to be out and it's going to be really hot this is amazing. So today it's going to be a hot one here in PA and I'm going to be wearing this makeup for the rest of the day so I'm using the original today. I mainly like to put this where I get the most oily which is my T-zone. And of course, around here is where I have larger pores. And again, I will do like extra around my nose. For foundation today, I'm gonna to use their Flawless Finish Foundation. This one's in the shade Nude. I love this like really light glass packaging. It's so cute. Comes with a pump, which I love. And then of course, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. total face sponge today. This is a really beautiful full coverage foundation. Shade range is on point. Lasts all day. I have worn this foundation to the gym before, like sweaty, juicy, intense workout. And this will last through that. Not that I recommend wearing makeup to the gym, but I was doing a wear test when I did the video and 
it was like last year, but I've used this foundation several times and it lasts through the heat. It's a really comfortable, oh, first of all, look at that coverage. It's a really comfortable satin finish and you don't need to layer the foundation because it's full coverage right off the bat, as you can see, like it's intense. I swear this sponge also makes any foundation look good. Gives you like the maximum coverage and there's just something about it. And now for concealer, I'm currently really loving their Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one's in the shade Medium Peach. If I want a really light, bright under eye look, I will go in with a little bit of light sand as well. But this is really good. The finish is great. It's a really creamy, full coverage concealer. I did a Shop My Stash video and I kind of like rediscovered this and I've been loving it ever since. And I'm just gonna put that right under the eye area a little bit down the nose. It's so creamy, it just melts into the skin. I like the original one too, but the original one is more of like a soft matte finish, so if you have maybe more oily under eyes or you're looking for just a more softer matte finish concealer, that one's great. This one's not like illuminating or anything, it's just the formula is a little bit more hydrating which I really like for my combo skin. And then I like to take the excess just around my mouth in between the brows. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush right in those inner corners. We're gonna blend that concealer in. This brush is like magic, I always say it, but it's really good also for just cleaning up any mistakes. If you go a little too hard with your eyeshadow, you can just kind of sweep this in your crease and it is just a really great brush all around for really small areas on your face. So that's pretty much it as far as the cream products go. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. Duh. I'm gonna use the Halo Glow setting powder in the shade Light. This is the most beautiful under eye powder. I'm gonna use my sponge actually just to press that powder under the eyes. Look at this little fuzzy, do you see that? Really just like gives you that smooth, flawless airbrush look but it's not a matte powder, which I think is a really nice change. It gives you like this really beautiful, healthy sheen. I use this all the time. It looks good in pictures. Um, I just did a full coverage flawless foundation routine and I featured this in it because it really is just like that good. And then I'm gonna use the Sheer Tint Finishing Powder in the shade Light. And I'm gonna use their Total Face Brush from their 12 piece brush kit. I'm just gonna very lightly kind of dust that on the rest of my face. Sometimes I use the Halo Glow Powder all over my face as well. It just depends what I'm feeling. I'm gonna set my brows and finish up my lower lashes. I'm gonna use their Wow Brow Gel. This one's in the shade Black. This is amazing. It has like the tiniest little brush so you can really get in there and set your brows nicely. I have gone several times, I've mentioned this to you guys, but without setting my brows before, like if I forget or whatever, I mean, it, that does, hasn't happened in a while, but I have gone times before where I forget to do it and my brows are literally melting off my face, like the tails are not there. So never underestimate the power of a good brow gel. All right, let's finish up these lower lashes. I'm gonna jump back into my Carnival Candy palette. I'm gonna go in with these two colors basically, and I'm just gonna run those right on the lower lash line. So I'm actually using an eyeliner brush. This is like a really flat definer brush. It is perfect for really packing in that shadow. We're gonna blend that out, don't worry. I took that eyeshadow a little too far out. Another brush that I love, this is their blending brush. It's literally what it's called. But you could use this in the crease. I really like it for blending out the lower lash line and giving me that really smoked out look. Does a good job at kind of doing the work for you. You just kind of run that on there and it just smokes out that product. I'm actually gonna use the Flawless Concealer Brush that I was telling you guys that I was using earlier. And I'm just gonna kinda clean that up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do a little black eyeliner just to kinda really bring everything together. And I'm also gonna tight line my upper waterline and I'm gonna use their gel eyeliner. This one's just in the shade black. 
just looks like this. It comes in a cute little pot. I'm actually gonna use their angled eyeliner brush. This is good for gel liner up top. You always wanna hit that upper waterline, especially when you're wearing falsies, just so everything looks really thick and black right at the lash band. And this always makes my eyes water, but it's a must. Okay, let's finish up the rest of the face. So I'm gonna bronze, and I'm gonna use their primer infused bronzer. This one's in the shade Forever Sunkissed. It's like a really light, warm bronzer. It has a little bit of a cool undertone, so you could use this to contour. It's really natural. And I'm just gonna use their Flawless Face Brush to apply this. Just looks like this. I cleaned all of my makeup brushes this weekend, and it feels so good. Stippling that product in a little bit. I love how natural this is. It's perfect for every day. Do a little bit down my neck, my chest, because it's exposed just a little. Really smooth formula, as you can see, even when you build it up, it's really nice. They have other colors in these too. This is, I believe, one of the lightest shades that they have. Because I don't have like any color to me right now, so I just want something really natural and warm. But I like this because it's not too orange, so it's like perfect for that natural kind of chisel. And then for blush, I'm gonna use their primer infused blush in the shade Always Rosy. I am so into different colors of blushes now. I was only into like oranges and peaches and like bronzy tones, but now I'm like really branching out and I've been loving like different kinds of colors. Plus I usually like to always match my blush with what I'm wearing and like the makeup look and I think this is a really natural Pretty rose color. How many times did I say natural in today's video? Let's count. I'm using their stipple brush, which I love. Just distributes the product so evenly. Gotta hit the nose. I know a lot of people don't like that. I don't know why, I just, I've been loving it. I used to do this before and then I stopped and now I'm like, I'm in the nose on the blush. Or, I'm into the blush, blush on the nose. <laughs> I'm into the blush on the nose now. Okay. Can't forget the nose too. So I'm actually going to use that same brush that I was using on the crease, the blending brush. And I'm just going to run that bronzer right on the sides of the nose. Then I take the flawless concealer brush and I kind of just run through that a little bit. <laughs> There's no mirror here, Jasmine. Like... There we go. Then we're gonna do a little highlight. So I've been really into like a natural glow, like I said. So I'm gonna just use it there, which this is actually a really intense palette, but we're gonna go very light-handed with it. This is their Glow Gleam Beam Palette. If you like a really intense, buttery glow, you will love these, they're great. I like how you have variety in here. You have different shades in here. These are intense, these right here. I'm probably gonna use this in the inner corners, one of these shades, but for today, I'm gonna use this color right here just to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, keeping it really simple. That's all that I'm gonna do, but even these are pretty intense, but these, if you like a beaming glow, you will love these right here. They also sell um, single highlighters that are like that as well, which I like, but I'm gonna just keep it, keep it simple today. I'm also gonna take that down my nose, up the lip. Final thing for the eyes, and then we're gonna be done with the eyes, I swear. I'm gonna use, uh, let's use this color right in here. I'm gonna use a really tiny brush. This is actually called their concealer brush from their 12 piece eye brush set, but I think it's perfect for the inner corner. It's so tiny. And it fits perfectly right in the inner corner. So you can really intensify that and get a nice Glow. I'm also gonna hit the brow bone because again, this brush is perfect for it. So pretty. See, I still like a glow in the inner corners and on the brow bone. I think that's pretty. I'm really sad because I don't think this is available anymore. I just looked on their website and the e.l.f. and Nabella collab was limited edition. So they only have their loose highlighter available, which that highlighter, by the way, is beautiful. I actually have it here. This is the best drugstore loose highlighter that I have ever tried and it, it's really good. So if you're in the market for something that is really intense or if you want to put it on your chest for summer, inner corner glow, if you want to add a little extra something, this is a very wearable, beautiful highlighter. But I have their lip liner here and I'm gonna just use it today because I want something like brown and I mean any brown pink lip liner will work but this is just the one that I'm using today just so that we keep the entire look 
using all e.l.f. products. I wish this was a permanent collab. I loved this collab, it was so beautiful. And then I have here their Seriously Satin Lipsticks that I also just tested out about like two weeks ago. And I really love this nude color. It's like a really beautiful pinky nude. It's like a great topper shade or like mixed with like a brown lip liner. It's gorgeous. So it's very pigmented. So I just usually kind of dab it in. And then I'm gonna top that off with the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. This one matches perfectly in the shade Fantasy. I love it with this look. And we can never forget setting spray, ever. It's like a rule, never. Never leave the house without it. So this is the e.l.f. Plus Glowy Dewy Mist, and I want a really natural glow today, so this is perfect. And then it's still gonna, of course, make your makeup last, which we love. So that officially completes this look. This is my version of like an everyday bronze smoky eye. It's very wearable, very smoky, but perfect for those of you who wanna be a little extra these days, like myself. And we are looking high end, if I do say so myself. Like nobody would know that this makeup is all affordable on my face. It performs like high end, it looks like high end, but the price is right because it's not like high-end and if there's anything that i didn't mention that you guys love from elf let me know because i'm always down to try out more of their products so leave me a comment we'll leave everything that i mentioned linked down below for you guys makeup brushes makeup everything so check the description box for all the details and that is it thank you so much for being here i love you guys so much and thank you once again to elf for working with me in today's video and until next time i will see you guys very soon in my next one bye